Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to try to use ChatGPT to fix my Java code. I have with me these three simple Java coding questions which are asked in interviews. The first one is how to reverse a string. The second one is check if a string is palindrome or not. And the third one is to find the number of vowels and consonants in a string. The first one just iterates through a string uh, in the reverse order, gets each character and appends it and returns that. A palindrome is a string which uh, in the reverse order is the same as the original string. An example would be like the word madam. Uh, so when you reverse the word madam, it's the same. And the third one is to check the number of vowels and consonants in the string. This code actually works. So I'm going to try to change some of the code and see if it detects the changes. I'm going to change the return type to int. Uh, I'm going to remove this dot and I'm going to remove this semicolon as well. Maybe this one as well. And now I'm going to see if those are detected by ChatGPT. So as you see, it, it fixed the first one right here, changed it to string, added the things that were missing. For the next one, I'm gonna add a few changes as well. Let me remove the whole return statement um, and uh, remove this curly brace and add, add two curly braces here. So it did add the curly brace here. It added the subtraction sign. doing a pretty good job so far. The last one I'm gonna see if removing the print statements does anything because that's not technically a logic change and also I'm gonna remove one check so for vowels it should be a e i and o and u so I'm remove the check for o see if it detects that. As expected, it added the O check here. And it added the print print statements as well. Which is a nice to have. I don't know why it did that. Good, it wasn't, uh, in, wasn't an incorrect piece of code. As I demonstrated, you can use ChatGPT to add pieces of code and see if it fixes it for you or at least detects if it is working as expected. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to add a like and hit subscribe to this channel. Thank you.